But first, the South Norfolk Jordan Bridge is suing the Army Corps of Engineers. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tom Shad. And I'm Anita Blanton. The bridge project manager says the engineers made a mistake, forcing them to spend money on another engineer to ensure the bridge was okay. Turning your sides, Andy Fox explains what went wrong. Andy. Yeah, the main column in question is this one. It's number 13, and it was moved three and a half inches by the government. When that happened, the Jordan Bridge had to get an engineer, and that cost money. And the cost of that engineer is at the heart of the lawsuit. This gravel area at the foot of the South Norfolk Jordan Bridge Portsmouth site used to be tidal marshland, a super fun cleanup site due to creosote. Jordan Bridge General Manager Kevin Crum. There was essentially um a stockpiling of materials that took place in close proximity to the bridge. The Army Corps of Engineers and a contractor at Sevenson Environmental Services based in New York stockpiled the dredgings from the site so close to columns called piers, the columns moved. There would be no movement on the, uh, the bridge if it wasn't for the stockpile. According to the federal lawsuit filed Wednesday, upon closer inspection, it was determined the actions of the defendants had caused Pier 13 to move three and a half inches, Pier 14 to move two and a half inches, and Pier 17 to move one and a half inches. It forced the Jordan Bridge operators to get a survey engineer to determine if there was damage to the columns, which there wasn't, but that cost the Jordan Bridge $196,000. The bridge is in great, in great health and great shape and and uh, for the long term, and this information gave us a lot of comfort in that. And um, like I said, now we're just trying to get reimbursed for the actual costs, you know, of the um, of what of the engineering results. The Army Corps says it's not responsible; that the contractor is responsible. But in the suit, Jordan Bridge argues the government was on site on a daily basis and, in fact, did provide day-to-day -day supervision of work. Crump points to this email from the Army Corps to its contractor. The Jordan Bridge owner will lay an egg if they see this. Please clear this material away from the pier. The contractor responds, we will start clearing this material tomorrow. It's basically evidence that's being created that there was knowledge of what of, of there, there was stockpiling taking place. And this was just basic communication between um, the government and their contractors. Now, the U.S. attorney, the government, the Army Corps of Engineers and the contractor. None of them had any comment when we called to get some type of a response for this report. In Portsmouth, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.